Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. This is Jyoti Nahar from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. And today I am going to take the revision of chapter number 7 that is animal world. We are going to revise the internal questions, book work and the copy work. I hope you would have gone through the descriptive video that was sent to you earlier and the revision video is now here. So let us start. Before starting the summary of this chapter, we, uh, the important points of this chapter are habitat, body coverings, breathing in animals, feeding habits of animals, movement in animals and migration. We are going to discuss these in short. So let us take up a quick recapitulation of the chapter. The first topic is a habitat. Now what is a habitat? A place or an area where an animal lives naturally means it is according, it is suitable to the animal. So the animal is naturally living there. The, so the place or an area where an animal lives naturally is called its habitat. And the different types of habitat are forest, ocean, freshwater habitats, deserts, arctic region and the rainforest. Let us take up one one example of each. So, our habitats Now, the different types of habitats we divide habitats into different the different regions that come under habitats are forest, desert, fresh water, oceans, and the arctic region. These are the different types of habitats that are found on the earth. Now what are the habitat on which animals live in forest? Different types of animals, a large variety of animals live in the forest. Many animals they live in the caves like lion, monkeys they live on trees and uh, on land giraffe and zebra these animals live. So what are the animals which live in forest? They are the examples we are going to do. The examples of animals which live in the forest are tiger, monkeys, rabbits they live in the burrows and snakes and rabbits they live in the burrows and caves and lion they live in the caves and desert animals, desert is a place where there is very less vegetation, very less rainfall is there. So the animals that live here are camel, rattlesnake, and fennec fox, ground squirrel. These are the animals which live in the desert. Now fresh water means the rain water, the, the habitat where which animal of the animals which live in fresh water. So the animals which live in the fresh water are frog, toads, salamanders, they all live in fresh water. Next is our oceans and it is the largest habitat of the earth. And the animals that live in the oceans are whale 
and dolphins. Octopus, whales, they live in oceans. And Arctic regions, the Antarctic polar regions that is, uh, we will write here polar regions because Arctic and Antarctic both come under polar regions. So, polar regions mainly consist of the Antarctic region and the Arctic region. So, the animals living in the, these are polar bear, penguins, these live in the polar region. So, these are the different types of habitats that is forest, desert, fresh water, oceans and polar regions. Now, coming up to our next topic, body coverings. Now, different animals, they have different types of body coverings which protect them like the animals like grasshopper, ants, they have a hard body covering which is called cuticle and the animals like turtle, snails, they have a body covering, hard body covering which protects them and this is called as shell and scales are present in the bodies of fish and crocodiles. Feathers protect the birds body from and they keep them warm and also help them to fly and animals like sheep and bear they have fur or wool like sheep have wool and bear they have fur. Our next topic is breathing in animals. Now we have different organs uh, all the animals present on the earth have different organs for breathing like we human beings we have lungs the air enters through the nose into the windpipe and then in the lungs exchange of gases takes place. Similarly, animals like frog they have different body or different organs for breathing on land and in water. When in water it, it breathes through its moist skin and when it is on land it breathes through its lungs. Similarly, insects, insects have a uh, small holes along the body, along the side of their body which are called spiracles. They breathe through the spiracles. Similarly, uh, aquatic animals like fish, crab, prawns, they have gills through which exchange of gases takes place from the oxygen and carbon dioxide which is dissolved in the water, it is taken up and again the carbon dioxide which is given is dissolved in water. So, these are the different types of animals which have different types of breathing organs. Next topic is feeding habits in animals. Now, different animals they have different types of feeding habits like insects like butterflies, they have a long and thin tube called proboscis through which they suck the nectar of flowers. Similarly, herbivores like zebra and giraffe, they have sharp front teeth to bite the leaves and their back teeth, they are broad so that they are easily able to chew the plant food. Then carnivores, they have sharp canines to tear out the flesh. Similarly, the uh, uh, carnivores birds like eagle, they have a sharp and pointed teeth to tear the flesh and sharp claws to catch hold of the prey. And animals like rats, squirrels, rodents, they have sharp front teeth to gnaw the food. They repeatedly bite the food. Next topic is movement in animals. Now, different animals have different organs for movement like Butterflies, insects, they have fins to fly, they have wings which help them to fly. Whales and dolphins, they have fins which help them to swim in water. Animals, reptiles like uh, snakes, they have scales which help them to move. Now, a 
frogs animals like frogs they have webbed feet ducks they have webbed feet which help them to move in water too and they have hind legs which help them to hop and animals like penguins they have flippers which help them to swim in water so these are the different animals or the different body parts which help the animals to move next is a migration now what is migration migration is the mass movement of animals from one place to the other in search of food water and shelter when the conditions become harsh they move to the other place where where they can find the food and water or they can survive easily so there are many animals which migrate to uh, escape from harsh weather like siberian crane it, it migrates from siberia from siberia to india every year the other animals which migrate are arctic tern european eels locust and monarch butterflies so this was about the chapter now coming up to the internal questions we'll discuss the internal questions the first internal question that is you have to write it on page number 60 of your book name the air holes present along the side of insects body now as we have discussed this now that the air holes which are present along the insects body are called spiracles these spiracles help the insects to breathe second question what is the hard body covering of insects core you have to write this question on page number 59 and the answer what is the hard body co body covering of insects the hard body covering of insects is called cuticle next is name a bird that migrates to india every year you have to write this question on page number 62 and the answer for this the bird which migrates to india from siberia when the conditions are harsh there when it is very cold it comes to india so which is the bird it is siberian crane so this these were the internal questions students you need to write them in your book according to the page number which are given against them so thank you students stay home stay safe